Elder Groberg said that after President Monson died, I was kind of hoping that he would stop bothering me so much about making the second movie, but it's actually been the opposite. He's more insistent now than he ever was before that we have to get that film done now. So I want to be really clear that this is not a commercial venture. Nobody involved in the production or funding of this film is financially driven. Nobody who wanted to make a buck in the movie business would ever think of spending this much money to make a movie as big as this for the LDS audience. We didn't make it for that audience. We made it for our planet. And it's good enough and it's big enough. We just got to get it there. Every one of us is mission driven to make a movie big enough and good enough that it will have, like the first film, the capacity to travel the earth, to go into all the world doing good. That's it. And I know it sounds kind of grandiose. It's actually really simple. Most LDS films are produced and distributed on such limited budgets that they are incapable of crossing over to a broader, worldwide audience. They usually do not feature mainstream actors or high production value, and as a result have limited distribution outside the narrow confines of the LDS niche market. They usually debut in a dozen or so theaters in and around Utah, and then are sold as DVDs inside church bookstores. For the most part, the Intermountain West defines the sum and substance of their life cycle. In contrast, both the original Other Side of Heaven and now its sequel, The Other Side of Heaven 2, were produced for millions of dollars with high production value and major movie stars. Millions of dollars were and will be spent releasing them simultaneously on hundreds of screens across the United States, making them attractive to foreign distributors looking for family content. For example, after succeeding in a few hundred theaters in the U.S., the original Other Side of Heaven was distributed on television into nearly every Muslim territory in the world. It was displayed in theaters and on TV and DVD throughout Asia and Europe, Russia and South America. DVDs were pirated and sold all over China. All that happened because one million people in the U.S. saw the movie inside theaters. With your help, it can and will happen again. All we need is a million people to get in their cars, drive to a theater, and watch the movie the weekend of June 28th. That's it. If we succeed in doing that, this movie will be given, like the first, a passport to our planet. And for 10, 20 years, it will roam the earth doing good wherever it lands. It's an awesome opportunity and it's an equally great responsibility. I hope you will make a decision now that you're gonna be there June 28th, or maybe the next day, June 29th, Saturday, with 10 or 20 friends. And I hope between now and then, you will spread the word in every way you possibly can. Help us make this movie mighty. Thank you. <laughs>